Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Tuesday, October 16th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. Let's begin today with two items in TV history. We'll start with Gene Stapleton as Edith Bunker on All in the Family. On this day in 1977, she was turning 50 years old. There was a party next door at Mike and Gloria's house, a surprise party. Edith did not make it, unfortunately, because she was attacked by a potential rapist. It didn't happen, fortunately. But this is one of the most memorable episodes of All in the Family. And here's an interesting tidbit. Initially, the storyline was planned for Bonnie Franklin as Anne Romano on One Day at a Time, which was also a Norman Lear comedy. For whatever reason, they decided the storyline should go to Edith Bunker. And also on this day, one year earlier in 1976, was the 100th episode of sitcom The Bob Newhart Show, which also aired on Saturday evenings. And I happen to consider that show to be one of the most underrated series in the history of television. At the time, it led out of the Mary Tyler Moore show. That won all the awards, got all the attention, and in a way, it's similar to what's happening now on ABC with Modern Family and The Middle. I think The Middle is a very good show, just does not get any attention because of Modern Family. Now let's go to, I have the first official week DVR rankers. This is the week of September 24th. This is very important because it shows you which series are gaining from added viewership via the DVR. Number one was Revolution on NBC. In that first week, which was its second episode, it gained 4.86 million viewers, which is very, very pivotal. Again, it, if a show might be struggling, if you look at the DVR usage, if it is getting a lot of added viewership via the DVR, that certainly helps. Now, in terms of the network with the most series that are benefiting, it is CBS, which had six of the top 10, 10 of the top 20, and 14 of the top 30 were CBS shows. And another interesting thing about DVR usage is if you look at it versus percentage and not added viewership, a number of the low-rated series that struggle overall tend to get a big boost, like Fringe on Fox, for exa example, gains like 50%. Because the number's low, it gets added viewership, and that's a bigger percentage. I have the top 30 rankings for you on our website and on our newsletter today. And by the way, TV Media Insights is mentioned in today's edition of the New York Post on DVR usage. Thank you, Michael Starr. Um, in other network news, and this is a very fluffy piece, we have a special coming up on ABC in December called Ashley and JP's Wedding. I don't watch The Bachelor or The Bachelorette, so I don't know these people, but Ashley Herbert or Herbert and JP Rosenbaum, I hope I got those names correct, are tying the knot on TV in December. And look, if anyone's shaking their head thinking it's not going to last, let's go back to Trista and Ryan. They were the original couple that got married. They are about to hit nine years of marriage. I don't know how real it is, but apparently it can work. Now let's talk about CMT for a second. They have announced that Saturday, November 10th, will feature the return of Redneck Island and the debuts of half-hour reality series Chainsaw Gang, and Big Texas Heat. And you could watch those shows on November 10th. I have to give CMT credit. They have done a very good job attracting um, that type of an audience. And it works for them. Coming up on the air tonight, we have the second presidential debate, which is airing on ABC, CBS, NBC, and Fox, among a number of cable networks. In series premiere news, and this could benefit... Emily Owens, MD, is debuting on the CW at 9 o'clock opposite the presidential debates, and this could be beneficial because there is a lack of entertainment programming. It features Mamie Gummer, Meryl Streep's daughter, as a doctor, a young doctor at a hospital that realizes being a young doctor at a hospital is kind of like being in high school. Um, did I like the pilot? Not necessarily, but I think what the CW is trying to do is they want to have their own Ally McBeal, and I just don't think this is going to work. But I will be curious tonight to see if it does get sampled. Unfortunately, the lead in support from Heart of Dixie is not necessarily strong. And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights on this 16th day of October. I hope everybody has a great day. And I'll be back with more news about my favorite medium, television, tomorrow. Take care.